In this video, we will continue with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 87 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. In the expansion of 3 minus 2x bracket 1 plus x over 2 to the power of n, the coefficient of x is 7. Find the value of the constant n and hence find the coefficient of x squared. So basically, if I multiply it out, they want the constant a, they tell you the coefficient of x is 7, and they want also the coefficient of x squared. Okay. Now, if I'm going to, to this bracket, I can, I'm just going to, the problem is that n. But, I want to take you back, and I can just, there's a printing mistake, I'll correct it in the next print. It must be 42, not 41, C, and it's on page 83. Okay, so basically, I am just doing the same as I always do. So it's n over 0. I take the first term, n minus 0, the second term, 0. Then n1, first term, n minus 1, second term, just 1. And then the next one, n over 2, first term, n minus 2, then 2, and so on. Now, this is, go back to page 83, then you will see this n0 will be 1 but what did we do was n1 we were and and this is why we must know this factorial the long way of doing that because it was if it was n factorial then it was n multiply n minus 1 and then it was always can you remember 1 multiply n minus 1 factorial and then this was cancelling out and the answer was just n and then if it was 2 then I would have expand it like this can you remember the same there two times one there that cancel and then basically if two times one is just two that's the two and then this is the next one so i'm using this so i have to this is why i was i'm, I'm also also was learning the long method and not just the ncr working it out on the calculator okay so basically I'm now going to simplify this. So just remember n0, I'm just going to show you, n0 there is just 1. Then, uh, n, okay, that I just simplify, that's just 1, 1, so it's just staying 1. I'm there. n1, do you see there? Okay, where is it now? Uh, that there, what did we see? It's just n, there is the 1. And then, mm, let's just use different colors, that will maybe help a little bit. Okay, there was the 1. Okay, now it was n1. So there's n1 and it's n. So if I'm looking, there is my n. Okay, and if I simplify anything, 1 to the power, anything stays 1, so it's only x over 2. Take another color, uh, n2, do you see? n2, and this is going to give me this. There it is. And then if I sum, this is staying 1, and this is x2, and that is 4. Okay, and then if I multiply out, I multiply, this is 3, and then this is also 3, I'm just bringing the 3, and I multiply this one, then, then I'm, that, that 2 times 4 is 8, so it's 3 over 8, and then I multiply the second one first, and I get this, and I multiply this, and I'm getting this, and I think I only want up to x to the power of 2, so if it becomes bigger, I leave it out. Then I simplify. Now, if I'm simplifying, I think the best is first to just simplify it a little bit here. That's what I did there. And now I'm going to mark my like terms. So let's just go for our like terms. Okay, this is just a constant. Okay, but let's mark the terms of an x. This is x. This is x. And that's x squared. Okay, so I take 3 over 2 n minus 2 and there's the x. Now it's the x squared. Okay, and then minus n, and there's the x squared. And then basically, now I'm going to equate. So um, don't forget this, I'm going to equate it towards this. So I'm just going to, there I just rewrite it, and then I can say a is 3, 
and I can, can say this is in front is equal to 7 for my equations and this is equal to b okay and then I simplify and I get I simplify just my equations and I get a um, a is 3 n is 6 b is 5.25 and then n is 6 and the coefficient of x squared is 5.25 okay and that was with the uh, find the constant n and then find the coefficient of x squared okay of the constant n find the value of the constant n okay there although i call it a but the constant was six okay i want you to stop the video and and i want you to do number one now if you struggle then go through this example again and then retry to do it it's a little bit easier because it's not having the fractions this stay fixed okay so you use this again in the example okay let's start number one I did the expansion of and now I have a minus x 1 plus 2x to the power n in ascending powers of x is this okay almost like I'm saying like it's 5 plus 69 x plus q x squared okay going on now if i'm starting start with this bracket so let's first work with this bracket so it's going to be one plus two let's make being correct plus two x and it's going to be to the power of n And if I'm going to expand that, so just remember, it's n0. Take the first term, and it's going to be n minus 0. The second term, and it's just 0. Though it's just 1, I just want you to get used to the pattern. Okay, then, then the next one, plus, so it's n1. The first term... It's n minus 1. The second term, it is just 1. Plus, okay, so let's just see n1. Uh, we will only do it up to n2. So I think I'm going to try to put it in there. With a little bit of move. Now, let's rather fit it in here. Otherwise, I cannot see that anymore. Okay, so it's going to be n2. Then it's the first term. And it's n minus 2. And the second term. And it's 2. And it's plus 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now, if I, if I um, simplify this, uh, I think let's just simplify it a little bit before I put it in the white. So because this is just, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. So this is just going to be 1. Then n1, it's exactly the same. That's going to be just n. And, okay, let's just go. 1 to the power, it's staying, and it's just 2x. Okay. And then this one, n2, it's the same. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated. n minus 1. And that's over 2. And then this is going to be 4x squared. Okay. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to rewrite this. But in the place of this, we will just put this yellow part, which we already expand. So we are going to say a minus x. And now in the place of this, put this yellow. So it's 1 plus, I can order it still a little bit. So it's 2nx. Now, if I put this over 1, so this becomes 2. Do you agree? So it will be plus 2n, n minus 1, x squared. Okay. Plus da, da, da. Now, I'm going to start multiplying this out. 
out, out. So let's start doing that. So if I multiply, this is A, I'm just taking, then I multiply this, then it's 2A in X plus 2A in N minus 1 uh, X squared. Plus, now I take the second term, but no, then it's not plus, but it's minus. Uh, then I multiply this one, minus 2 in x squared and then I take this one minus 2 in n minus 1 um, x to the power of 3 so it's not even necessary to multiply that one okay so basically so this one can actually be left out, but it doesn't matter. Leave it just there. I'm just focusing on the constant x to the power 1, x to the power 2. So let's just highlight our like terms. So this one is fine. It's a. Then let's just see my x. Hold on, go on. Take another color. So there's x, and there is an x. And then there is an x squared. And there is an x squared, and that one can be out. So then this one will be, okay, well, I'm at the green. So it's 2a in minus 1 x. Um, and then plus, and now I'm at this one. So it's 2a in n minus 1 minus 2 in and it's x squared plus da, da, da. okay now don't forget that this equate now because this is replacing this now and this is equal to this so according to that if i have to i can therefore say i can even write it in so i can i just want to make it like this rather just that's going to be the is equal to the 5 plus 69x plus qx squared. So therefore, therefore, I can say, start comparing. So a is equal to 5. Can you see that? The constant. Then there is the x. Do you see the x? Make another color. So you're going to say, no, oh, I just want to take, um, yeah, let's take great, it's fine. 2a in minus 1 is equal to 69. Then I can take another color, and I can say this, and I can say 2a in n minus 1 minus 2n is equal to q. Then I'm moving it up. Now, if I have A, it's already 5, so I can just substitute it in here. So it's 2, 5, N minus 1 is 69. So it's basically 10N, and if this one, it's 70. So I divide 10, divide 10, so therefore N is 7. Then this one... I'm going to now say 2, and in the place of A, 5, in the place of N, 7, in the place of N again, 7 minus 1, minus 2, 7. Okay, and now if I simplify this, this is going to be 70, and this is going to be 6, and this, and that's Q, it's 14. Let's just see if it's working out. So 17, 70 times 6 minus 14 and I'm getting 406 so therefore Q is 406 okay and now that is basically what I want so if I'm just I can just control find the values of A, N and G so A is 5, N is 7 and Q is 406 this is a bit challenging, but I think if you know this, 
if you especially if you know this you will be able to do it